for the apple. Um, I started with the effect first. I said, what was really, what would really be magical? And I was brainstorming on it, and then I got hungry, and I went to the refrigerator, and I saw the apples there. I thought, okay, that's a good one. I don't think I've ever seen anybody change an apple, and it's a logical, magical event, but I had no method. So I went searching. I looked through books. I looked through old books. I looked. I tried to apply methods that were never applied to it before. You, like the thing where you sew a thread around the apple, then pull, and then the apple's cut on the inside. And I tried all kinds of things. And for five years, I couldn't come up with an answer. Until I was listening in on a conversation uh, with some friends at the Magic Castle. They were talking about the best trick in magic was, oh, I hope I get this right, Martin Lewis's color-changing pencil. Huh. And I interrupted and I said, what is that? And they explained to me and I thought, oh, I bet that could be applied to this problem I'm working on. And that's how I found that answer. For Ray's Rise, I had learned a move uh, years ago from Mike Weber called On the Up and Up. And then I saw the move applied years later by Ernest Eric uh, in a car trick. And I thought, oh my god, that can be applied to other things. And that again was a situation where I had an effect but no method. Years, years before, I thought it'd be very magical to have a card rise upward by sticking out. And I had no way to do it. I couldn't do a good pass. I had heard about the uh, Jeffrey Lattis. So all of a sudden it hit me, oh my god, I can make this thing look like animation with this technique. Then there's other things, like I had a, uh, a trick where you put, touch four cards and there are four kings, but that one was completely the other way around. I didn't have an effect first. Bill Goodwin showed me a method for another trick, and I thought, I wonder what that's never been applied to. So I started racking my brain, what has that never been applied to, or what would you never think of applying that move to, and what have I never worked on? So I started going through ideas, and then all of a sudden I hit on that. So there's lots of ways you can attack this, from method first or from effect first. And just don't take any method of creativity for granted. Try it all.